Welcome to The Beat from the True Wellness Center. I'm your host, Kelly Kennedy. And The Beats is truly from my heart to yours to help you empower and inspire you to learn how the body actually does work. I am bringing you my friends, my colleagues, the most incredible minds from around the world that I have been able to learn from. And I want to share them all with you. So that's what The Beats is really about, is teaching people what I've been able to learn about how the body works and trying to give that to you in a very simple and practical way to give you things to change your life because you got this. This is all about you and having the ability to heal your own body from within. And that's really my message is from my heart to yours. Welcome to the beats. Welcome to learning how your body works and welcome to opening your heart. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for your time and your attention as we focus in on this week's episode of The Beats. So welcome back to The Beats with Kelly Kennedy. I'm your host. From my heart to yours, I am divinely excited about this conversation uh, today. I have met this gentleman only about five or six months ago. I've heard about him for many years. And when I met him, it was an instant connection. And then when I learned who he was, I was like, oh my God, I've wanted to meet you forever and really understand. And who I have today is Harry Macy from Ness Health, who has a story that makes my story look like I wasn't even doing anything in health and who has instigated more change in our healthcare than almost anybody that I know. And he is proving quantum physics. Um, maybe, on a maybe I've planted the seeds for it. I don't, I don't know if that's totally occurred yet, but anyway. <laughs> and he's super humble and he's super fun. Planted some seeds, hopefully that will, that will happen, yes. <laughs> and so there he is, where his brilliant self, of course. And so Harry runs and owns uh, and does many other things, but Ness Health is his baby at some level and harry can you tell us a little bit about your story for those that don't know you and get them some insight into the i i don't know you 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 probably don't know this but let me tell you how i explain you when i meet other people i'm like have you met him and they're like no i'm like oh so he's like he's like willy wonka meets einstein wrapped up together he's like the most fun and brilliant eccentric human that I have met in a very long time. That's how I describe you. Well, that's pretty easy. <laughs> right. <laughs> I will I will give some background. So when when I was when I was 21, I had sort of free 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 instances or free 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 climbing instances that led me to end up being having bed bound chronic fatigue syndrome and I'll I'll, I'll just go through those little instances for fun. So I was a very avid rock climber, rock climber. And you know, I used, I used to climb like 4,000 meter overhanging faces in, in the, in the Alps. So I would like climb a hundred foot above the ocean and sometimes like fall off in, into the waves crashing below. And one of those climbing instances, I, I went up to Scotland to go ice climbing. And when you're ice climbing, the ice can be extremely brittle. So I was going up teeter, 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 and then the ice shattered and I fell backwards, fell down, fell onto the snow slope below. And un unbeknown to me, I actually fractured my spine that day, although I didn't, I didn't know I was just in a lot of pain for the, for the next few years till I had an x-ray years later, uh, around six months later i went out to the went out to the french alps i was climbing there actually up a mountain called Ag Ag um, Dum de midi i got a fever which was you know very likely gl glandular fever that uh, god knows what you call it you call it epsom bar in the states don't you um and and uh you know i i ended up with this fever got got back down spent you know two two weeks sweating with a fever went back to Went back to university was getting you know basically was starting to get like pretty exhausted like i was getting po you know post-viral fatigue 
but I was, you know, overriding it and, and ignoring it and just, um, you know, just kind of carrying on like you would at, would at 21. I thought I would go back out, back out to the Alps to try and sort of, I don't know, just like heal myself through, through fresh air and exercise. Actually, I did two and a half months of just mountaineering, but with increasing exhaustion. And by the end of that period, I ended up stuck in a tent and basically couldn't get out. I was just just eating dried bananas that, that I had and some and some water. Eventually, I got enough energy to drive back home. Enrolled in an MBA because that's what you do when you're completely exhausted, obviously. <laughs> and very quickly realized I wouldn't be able to do it. I split it over two years and. Um, Anyway, the long story of that is, is, is I ended up totally, ended up totally bedridden. I did, I actually did my exams. I actually got my MBA, but I did them in a wheelchair and which was probably the most stupid thing I ever did instead of recover. And I spent the next few years trying all sorts of things, but firstly, the conventional, uh, it's sort of just conventional healthcare didn't, didn't get anywhere with that. Then got into nutrition and diet you know maybe got a little bit somewhere but uh, my health and energy was still deteriorating and you were bedridden like i want people to understand you were bedridden you were in a wheelchair so here's this active guy that was doing all this like shoving it down because he's 21 going oh i'll deal with it i'll deal with it i'll go to back to the university get my mba but i'm gonna be so sick i was so headstrong i was so headstrong i can't really describe it but I was so exhausted, you know, while I was in, in the Alps doing that mountaineering, I was so exhausted while I was doing the MBA, you know, I would drag myself to the lectures, like, you know, trying to keep myself awake. When you do that long enough, you end up bedridden. Um, and, you know, bedridden is a, know, it's a strange word, but, you know, it's somewhere between being housebound and bedridden. You don't necessarily, you're not necessarily spending 24 hours a day bed you do get up to go toilet feed yourself all that sort of stuff but in in, in effect your bedroom now house bed right yeah. right yeah. sorry to interrupt i just wanted them to understand the magnitude of what you were dealing yeah, with yeah well no it's like living in a it really is like living in a dark cloud and you can't you literally can't remember what you're thinking um you know you have a you have a thought you sort of think you had a thought and then you spend the next few minutes trying to remember what the thought was <laughs> like it's that it's that level of energy it's not uh, it's not it's not much of an existence uh, any anyway um but i was very very uh, i was very headstrong i guess and i would try all these different things so do like the raw vegan thing i did for a year and a half and fasting didn't get anywhere with that did every sort of diet thing you could think of um homeopathy and homeopathy made me once it made me worse because i didn't have enough energy to sort of elicit the proper healing response i was on all those iv drips ozone gerson therapy but like gerson therapy actually exhausted me or depleted me more because it takes so much energy to do it and it's full of caffeine and all the <laughs> coffee enemas which was highly depleting and um you know you, you name it i tried it i guess for around four four or five years after that i was sort of like well for some reason you know i don't know where, where the hell is energy coming from i just thought well why don't i study energy and i don't think it was google there. back then it was yahoo but you know <laughs> yahoo gave me this term of bioenergetics which was the stood for the study of energy and living systems so I started look, looking around and I came across this, um, I came across this scientist in, in Australia and, you know, I was put, I was actually put in touch with them by our, by our doctor in England, actually, because they, they've been separate side conversation, but they've, they've been researching a cancer diagnostic um, device. And anyway, we got in, we got in touch. We had, we fortunately hit it off. And I just had this idea because I was stuck at home and couldn't visit practitioners of creating a system. Well, I was thinking of calling it home wellness system in those days. 
of creating a system that would help people at home. Um, but I didn't have a clue, A, how to make it, or, but more importantly, how to get anyone better. And I was obviously really, really sick myself. Uh, but fortunately, Peter, Peter did know how to get people better. And he'd actually, he'd actually been mapping out the energy and information of what we now call like the, 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 human body, the human body field. But basically it's a map of the body's energetic control system sort of separate sort of separate and above to the body's chemical control system and uh we ended we ended up teaming up to to form this company which was called called myself he ended up moving from australia to to england and we created this system called the biogenic wellness system together and then there's another 20 years of history beyond that but that's probably a good little starting point because you wanted to know the background yeah no that's perfect so and for those of you who've been listening to the beats you know the ongoing story that i have is my husband's name is ian harry has not met ian yet but ian was doing energetic therapy 20 years ago when i was in a car accident i was living on painkillers and muscle relaxers and then i walked into his office to help me with money because i was in this network marketing company and I instantly saw a change. So I went back to see if he could handle pain. And he did some emotional, energetic work, gave me some infaceuticals. And out the door I went, and my pain went away. And when I went back to his office, and I said, so I need to help. before you were married? Yeah, this was, yeah, because now he's my husband. But this was 25 years ago. Oh, wow. And I... Um, I walked back in his office and I go, how did you do that? How did you get my body back? Because you don't know my story, but I had compression fractures. I'd lost two and a half inches in height. I have a scar, a 12 inch scar on my head. I was scalped and I lacerated my spleen in an MVA. And my father had died from cancer. So, well, not from cancer. He had cancer seven times. He died from a stroke the same year I had the car accident. So there was all this emotional shit locked up in there as well. So as I started doing, two, I did two sessions with him, one for money, one for pain. After the second session, I was pain free. I walked back in his office and I go, how the fuck did you do that? The first time I've ever sworn on my podcast. I said, how the fuck did you do that? And he goes, energy. And I go, I, honestly, I, I was a scientist and I like humor as you know so I thought he was being funny because his name's Ian and I go oh you're funny because you did it but like how did you make me better he goes no I didn't do anything it was the energy in your body cool huh and I was like what why is this guy so satisfied with this answer of energy I don't understand what the hell he's talking about but I figured if I stuck around with him long enough I'd figure it out and it was like 10 years later I was introduced to the bioregulatory field of medicine and understanding dark field microscopy and regulation therapy and light and all the energy stuff. And I was like, oh, there's an actual science? This is exciting. So you just took it full circle for me, Harry, because literally you started studying energy. That's what I started to study to go, what is this all about? There's an energy field, like you said, that's above the chemical way that's controlling the body. And this is the point of the Beats podcast to get people to understand this, which is why you are our hundredth episode, because I want, you are the bridge to get people to understand. Go listen to the other hundred episodes, but this is the key right here. We talked about it with Sound of Soul. Now we're talking about it with Harry. It's about your energy biofield. So now dive into that. What do you mean by it's above the chemical control of the body? So all, all of us are used to there being a, a, chemi a chemical control system. And, you know, well, um, it, you know, if you're looking at how cellular communication works, like every, every cell has cell receptors that we're probably familiar with. I don't, I don't depending, <laughs> depending on your, who your listeners are. Uh, but, basic, but, basically, but basically your cells have, have chemical receptors that pick up, pick up chemicals. And... Um, but what they're not so necessarily used to this idea that cells also have also have field receptors that, that work in a in honestly a similar way, but but they they pick up fields or energy fields in instead of chemicals. And when you really think about it, you know, could could the body work on a chemical control or sorry, just a chemical control system? And um, you know, for for, ex for example, like. Uh, let's say let's say you're in you know you're in an accident and then your adrenals produce adrenaline and then that adrenaline has to get to well it goes into the blood and then goes around the blood and you know might get to your little finger little toe etc and then 
you know, then it has that e extra adrenaline and it's activated. Well, that that system is true, but it's a but it's a little bit it's a little bit slow because in actual fact, when you're in a car accident or something, your body reacts instantaneously, and it's almost it's you know, it's almost as though well, actually, it's not almost like time time actually slows down, and people describe this in this almost timeless state, like you're so hyper alert, like time slows down, you you can stop moving that, and you're you're moving and reacting faster than those chemicals have actually got to uh to all of the cell cells in your body so you know that that's an example where uh having a field-based control system is ridiculously useful because it's many many orders of magnitude faster uh than, than the chemical control system or, or you could take the nervous system your spine is like so thick but the nerve in your little finger is, you know, um, like a couple of sort of like the ballpoint pen thickness is like the, I've, I've got there. Sorry, just the, just the point of the ballpoint pen. And so your nervous system actually transmits at completely different speeds right across the body, which honestly couldn't really explain hyper coordinated movement. But if you look at the nervous system as a system of setting up a field, and the information, just like um, you know, just like a radio wave, the information or the message is, is just carried in the field outside of the nervous system. Then, you know, then it begins to make more sense. But it, it's not just through these; it's not just through the pulses. You you can't quite get the perfect coordination of, of movement through that. Um, and so, yes, yeah, so a bit, bit. I mean, basic. So basically, when you're looking at a field-based commuter, sorry, yeah, field-based control system it, it's you know a, i i mean you can say about you can I, I did say i did say about but it's basically in addition to it's it's definitely more efficient than the chemical controls uh than, 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 than the chemical control system um you know and it, it and it's instantaneous which is super super useful the reason we say it's above is because there's many layers of fields now, if we really go down the deep physics rabbit hole, which you obviously want me to, is I so do want you to. Yes, you do, I do. Um, from a you know from from a quant from a from from a quantum level, it, from a quantum level, you probably all, most people will sort of realize this, but really, reality is em is pretty much <coughs> it's, it's pretty it's pretty much empty space, and you know ultimately it is energy or if, or what I would say is information structured energy. So you sort of have information or an information field right, right at the top of a pyramid, you have energy. So like physics fits, um, you know, basically physics is information and energy. Then you have chemistry, um, but it's really what is chemistry or a molecule or an, you know, an atom ultimately it's an it's information structure energy it's really an energy field um and then beyond chemistry you know you have you have bio, obviously have biology and all your cells and tissues etc etc um so that's that's why i say it's above it's above the chemical control system because from a just from a physics point of view right it's, it's a layer it, above essentially. it's just it's, yeah it's just a layer so um and the great thing about this is, is you you can inform you can inform the information of the body, um, or the fields of the body, and it will end up directing the the, the, the biochemistry in turn. So there's sort of layers like you can look at it from the control system point of view. There's a chemical control system, a field-based control system. That's one level, but actually from a pure physics point of view, actually information and field to right are right at the top of the tree and direct literally just direct everything everything in our reality in our lives in time it goes on <laughs> it goes because on. it's you know this is the most exciting thing to us i would say i'm putting you in the circle when we go to events and we 
get together with what we call our tribe. You've heard me all use this term before. We get to have these conversations with each other and figure stuff out because we see what's happening clinically with clients and we're trying to figure out what, at least for 20 years, that's what we were in the position of like, okay, we see what's happening clinically. Like I said to Ayn, you obviously physically change. My body's physically different from one visit and that's not physically possible because I have a physical ailment. I have compressed vertebrae, I have a scar. And how the hell did you do I, that? I'm just, I'm just curious. Um, so your your compressed vertebrae went or just the symptoms went? Just the symptoms, good question. I'm working on that with you now. Yeah, so it's interesting. So one of the miracles, you know, I've seen a lot of miracles. Um, so when we made the film The Living Matrix, in that film, there's the story of a, a Greek boy who has cerebral palsy. And, you know, and, and in his case, he couldn't, he couldn't open his hands and he couldn't walk right. properly because his feet were all clawed. And I think, I think he was eight or, eight or nine years old when he, when he was treated. Anyway, it was, this isn't a nest story per se. Um, it's actually a, something called the re reconnection where they're just doing ha yeah. hands-on healing. Anyway, this boy was you know, brought up to the stage. They did the session. And then that boy was able to walk off the stage and he was able to uncurl his hand for the first time in his life. And anyway, so that story was told on camera um, before we met the boy. And I was like, oh, you know, well, is it true? Is it not? Is it not true? So we, f we flew out to Greece, you know, met the family, interviewed the mom, interviewed the, um, their, oh, I can't remember what in Greece is called, but basically their primary care, you know, doc doctor um and obviously film film the boy running around in the playground that he was he wasn't he wasn't totally cured but he was dramatically physically different um and the thing in quantum and it is a hor it is a bit hor it's a bit of a horrible concept um but yeah you know, if you're happy with that reality can be holographic that there are that there are parallel realities that you know you can make these sort of scalar jumps um yes basic basically you can uh, you can see these complete jumps in in physiology that honestly defy they defy reality the, they, they defy, they defy non-quantum rules of reality and you're like how how on earth does that happen and then the, you know there's a lot of you can find it on youtube actually there's um ultra it's like ultrasound pictures of in in real time sorry ultrasound video i should say of Qi, qigong masters they're just visualizing um people not having cancer and then you see these cancers just dis disappear in their livers uh, in in ultrasound again it defies it defies it defies all logic but i've i've seen enough i've seen enough of it over 20 years and we see you know i i can't make claims for our nest stuff because i'll get in trouble but let's just say i've seen some miraculous stories that can't can't be can't be conventionally explained and um you know <laughs> um, yes <laughs> i can't say anymore yeah 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 and, and let me interrupt and say this that part of my journey came from a very physical alignment like you know i was raised in upstate new york in farm country and i didn't have a lot of exposure you know i wasn't very worldly let's put it that way and when i went to cornell i became a little more worldly but that's when i was in the car accident and then i was just frustrated with medicine because my dad died i was living on four medications six medications at the time and i'm like they don't have this figured out i don't understand it and then three years later when i met ian and he goes energy and it helped me like you i was like well i'm going to research it i'm going to figure it out and i still was stuck in physical medicine for 15 years while i was in the energetic journey I'm, yeah. i, oh, I want the, re the reason i asked you if you still had your physical um issues is there's another thing from the like when, when you're just looking at the body field as a as a control system of the body if you make that more efficient and make that work properly the sim the symptoms can basically go because your your communication system is work well your commute because it's a field-based communication system because it's receiving now, information that right 
Well, it, 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 yeah, in a way, it can short circuit and it, it, an issue, and so like pain and other thing and other things can uh, can go, even though the physical problems there. Um, so you you see both, but anyway. Well, no, that's what I'm in. Like at this point, I'm just having fun. I feel great. I don't have any symptoms. I haven't had for many years, with the exception of my fascia, which has you know brought me into this world of fascia for the last four or five years deeply, which is this, I had my scar treated, it helped my body tremendously, but I still the princess in the pea. And what I've realized through all the meditation work and the informational and the quantum physics is that I'm still holding the story and I'm not changing the information. And so I know that divine timing is everything. And so I got into the iMate last year, which is a, a quantum physics machine that does um, radionics. And the first time he did a scan on me, it came up splenic trauma. Okay. Then Christine Schaffner, Dr. Schaffner, our friend, she does an AO scan on me. First thing she says to me, it does, it's a splenic trauma. I go, oh, that's crazy. That's exactly what Ian's quantum machine said. Then somebody from your center from Ness Health did a scan on me three weeks ago. Splenic trauma again shows up. And I had worked my spleen. What are you doing about I, it? I hope you're, are, you, are you saying this spleen driver? Don't tell me you're not. I started it today. I got my emphasutical. You could have been you could have been healed by now. By this well, what, no, I, I specifically started it today because today was the day that I'm documenting what we're doing because I know you can't make claims because you work with Ness, but I can make a claim because I'm just a user of it. And I'm going to what I know is going to happen. I can tell everybody because everybody knows I grew bone over the last two and a half years where I had cavitations. I grew bone on cone beams. Okay, so I, I didn't get surgery. I just grew it by telling my body to grow it, right? So I changed the field. What I know to be true in my own story is that my spleen is still my issue. It's all about transitions and changes for me and all of that. And my adhesions for my fascia were still in my spleen. So I started working them. And then all this series of events happened in my life to bring my healing of my spleen into me in the last two years, particularly the last two months, particularly with Ness Health, for me to go, okay, this is it. This is the way. So that what I feel, so this, I know this, what's going to happen. Is like, I mean, it's also it's also the meridian that is most sensitive to to shock and trauma. So, what's your big shock trauma? I guess my dad. Like, guess what, Abby? Well, it's not it's not my dad. It's the state of the union of of not this union, the state of humans not realizing how incredibly powerful we are. That's my shock and trauma. That when I got in the car accident, everybody just tried to manage my health and they managed my father's health, but nobody saw the spirits inside these people and nobody treated the spirits and the healing that comes from within. And I know that with Ness Health, taking these remedies, I know that my spleen's gonna change and I know I'm gonna grow my inch and a half back that I lost in the, in the car accident. I know it. I know I'm gonna be doing hand, handstands by the time I'm 50. I've seen it. I just didn't know how I was gonna do it, but you now I know. Rock climbing. I'll do anything, Harry. I'm like, I, I am the kid. Well, you know, I mean, I, I say that in jest, but the reason I'm saying it, um, is because it length it lengthens your it lengthens your spine because you're hanging. Yeah, yeah, and inversion. I love inversion, but I want people to know that this is cap. Everybody has this capability, and what Harry has put together with Ness Health and is the ability for us to treat ourselves at home from the field to give our ourselves different information to allow the physical manifestation to change in an instant without having matter change matter we can change information we can correct the information that's being fed to get the matter to change exactly yes anything else you want to add to that um you know well maybe we can look at like all the types of information um so yeah, in, yeah. information is pretty it's pretty curious like most of us probably know well you can basically split it into positive information and negative information the most of healing um traditional healing is basically based on negative information that isn't necessarily a bad thing at all uh, that's just how the process of, of hormesis works so like homeopathy is a very dilute 
form of hormesis but if you take a more um uh, i don't know well like if you take take some herbs like dandelion like that's that's basically very um it's a little bit toxic to the liver so the liver creates more bile or hawthorn there's a little bit toxic to the heart so the heart strengthens in in response and as i say i mean honestly pretty much most of fun fun i hate to say it, functional medicine home and western homeopathy they're all based on negative information um but the where we at where the future of healthcare will be is is a more positive information the negative information is fine however it, it takes energy for the body well it'll, it'll always take energy for the body to respond and strengthen but if someone's really really sick i.e their energy is too low they don't actually have enough energy to respond that was certainly true when i was super sick and tried homeopathy it actually made me worse because if you've only just got enough energy to function but you don't have enough energy left over to heal hormesis doesn't honestly work doesn't basically doesn't work or doesn't work very well um so for those cases you really need to supply po um po positive information so and basically what we did with ness and what we have calling what we call our infraceuticals is we've recorded the healthy information of, of different tissues and different functions of the body so we you know you can take like um a liver driver or a kidney driver and so we record the information and the information fields of how a healthy kidney is when it's working properly and then when you provide that information back to the body i'll see the body basically it, it basically it, if it gets a little bit and its control system gets a little bit um like distorted or corrupted but when you present that correct information back to the body suddenly the kidney and in, in this example will start will start working will basically just start working more um more properly and as soon as that happens it'll it'll excrete it'll basically excrete any toxins uh and they like think if you like think things in this way because as soon as you optimize its function in turn the terrain or like the tissue optimizes as well and anyway in short in short you get better so i'll, I'll say that about information how about that well no i love that because i was going to ask you to explain that a bit more about the homeopathy needing more energy to work because i this is a concept that i've tried to get people well, to understand I think, I think that's the other concept of bioenergetics so yeah. like the most simple way of looking at bioenergetics is you know we, we basically want to optimize the body's control system that's the information piece we've just been talking about uh but the sec the second piece I, I call it like the body, the body battery, but it's, it's like the, it's like the energy levels of the body. And I might body battery, the battery. The battery. That's I'll, I'll just take you through a non-human example. Um, you know, we've all got these, we've all got these phones and then we all, well, there's no apps on here, right? But anyway, <laughs> so example, but you know, there's a gazillion apps on your phone or whatever, you know, right. gazillion apps that are basically running down, like they're all using power or energy. In, in some way and like if we want energy if we want to save our battery in our phone because we know we've got an important call at three o'clock we won't necessarily have all those apps running we won't do tons of internet browsing you know we'll we'll we'll, we'll conserve we'll conserve our conserve our energy because we've got that important call now the same the same is actually true in the human body but you know modern existence like because well, you know, we're stressed, we're, we're overworked, we reach for stimulants, which while they temporarily give you energy, it's sort of like, um, it's false energy, it basically drains your energy, energy more. And, um, you know, the, bo the bottom line is, human race right now is not very, not very good. It's actually really, really bad at energy, at energy and emotional management. And so we ended up, we end up running our body battery or energy too low. And to what you were asking about homeopathy, there's a certain amount of energy you need for just exit, you know, for existence, certain amount of energy you need for like productive, healthy functioning. And there's more, you need more energy to be able to heal, like you need excess energy to be able to heal. 
And if your energy gets too low, it's really, really hard. It doesn't matter what therapy you throw at someone, they actually haven't got enough energy to actually use that, you know, um, basically to, to, to use the therapy to, to, um, uh, you know, to, to run that to mechanism. It. So if it, the homeopathy is supposed to start a mechanism in the body, the body Order, doesn't have yeah. the metabolism to move it uh, forward. Uh, it's just to stay it doesn't weight. matter. It doesn't matter right. what the therapy is. Um, right. If you haven't got enough energy available, it's, you can't, you can't really heal. And, you know, and I've, my story was very, very extreme, but you probably got that from my story. It's like in those first few years, I did all of those things of, of healed people, like just doing good diet, doing IVs, ozone, Gerson. Like there's nothing wrong with any of those things. Now, in my case, why didn't it heal me? Those, why, did it, why was I getting sicker for the first five years? It's my energy level was so depleted and I was so emotionally whacked and so stressed I could never I never I never had enough in reserve that would let any any therapy like any therapy actually actually work you received because the body didn't have any money to receive it um yeah that's exactly something. exactly so I mean that's yeah. the anyway so bioenergetics is a study detection and correction of energy and living systems but say the other part of all this is it's it is extremely important to learn how to manage your energy learn how to manage your emotions so honestly it's emotions and stress like people can relatively quickly get the idea of um you know of like cons like conserving energy resting um etc etc um it's a bit harder to manage your to manage your emotions like and especially when you're sick like when you're sick you are already highly anxious you know you're highly anxious depressed well obviously you're tired etc cetera, etc cetera. um so your emotional management side is really is you know is, re is really really off so that, that's honestly a part that we're really focused on at the moment through for a new company actually it's not mess it's um it's guess what the company's called what energy for life energy for life actually energy I knew that. For life. but i oh, forgot marcel Mar marcello had told um, me that yeah that's a yeah, great yeah. name um, that's the uh that's that well it's basically a wearable that will detect correct and protect your emotional energy or your energy if you like um and it's do anyway it's ba it's basically doing that because we've worked um we've worked out these way um we've so in traditional Chinese medicine, you can, you know, look at your pulse. So we've worked out some algorithms that can basically tell you your overall five elements and you know, basically the overall vitality of your pulse and the connections to uh, the emotional, the emotional connection um, in connection to those five, sorry, to five elements. And then it will also, it'll also help correct your energy through instead of giving a, an infusutical, we basically just imprint that infusutical direct, directly into the blood through the wearable, and then the protect your energy. Part partly is education of better energy and emotional management, um, but part but partly we also do it through what we're calling an annotation, which is a an, an what's basically an energetic meditation that's personalized to your to your pulse. And then we have like tw twenty or so different meditations it gives it gives the bio signature to you while you're listening to the met to the meditation and then it's you know done to amazing music and all, and all the rest of it gongs, so gong, gongs and crystal balls and all that stuff excellent excellent and so this is going to be a wearable that allows people to assess but they don't have to do anything other than put it on but it will assess them live in action and then send yes, the it, does, it does everything a a really good other wearable um you know might do like all your sleep tracking fitness tracking energy but it also sends you the corrective frequencies yeah well yes uh but it all but it also but it the bit that's unique is normally you know actually like i've got a garmin right here so uh you know garmin or an Ura ring or a whoop or any of these things as far as they've got is looking at heart rate variability but nobody's looking at the full shape of your actual pulse but that 
shape of your pulse from a Chinese aspect, it actually contains, so you can have a wiry pulse, just a gallbladder, liver pulse. Um, you can have, you know, a damp pulse, which indicates spleen. spleen. Um, you know, there's like knotted and bound, you know, be looking at uh, your heart. So anyway, th there's different pulses that look at different organs. Just because of a regulatory point of view, we've put it all in, emo in, in emotional components. Um, so like, for instance, liver shows a scale of frustration to decisiveness. Your spleen um, is, anxi is anxiety to faith. Um, heart is impatience to, to, to joy, for instance. So we can basically, so, so you can tell from an emotional aspect, but it's actually also telling you what's going on in, in your organs. Um, however, the most, the easiest way for you to, to get out of that and to help correct that organ um, is through, is basically through the annotation, um, through, you know, through, master, through mastering your emotions and realizing, oh shit, well, you know, I'm frustrated. And what does frustration mean? Well, you're basically over you're overthinking and you're not taking decisions on all these things. And, you know, if you realize, I actually, all you need to do is, take a decision of all this stuff that you're frustrated about, take a decision and, and act on it. And so then we, you know, do all these annotations to, and, and uh, guided wisdom to help people get that. But as soon as you do that, you know, your chi, if you like, or energy that we're talking Life about here, your, your energy, your energy become, becomes more, becomes more flowing. As soon as that's flowing, well, A, this whole magical energy control system that we've been talking about, that suddenly starts to work better. Your cellular communication um, start uh, starts to work better, and that whole energy management piece. Well, if energy is flowing more easily, naturally you have more. You're going to have more energy throughout the day. You know, you're less you're less stressed. Um, uh, you know, and you're a bit wiser, so you're living closer to your authentic self. And you know, ultimately, hence it's called energy for life. Uh, it basically restores your energy for life and. You can do what you want with that energy. In my case, um, I've retaken up rock climbing and just went for a run this morning and use it to build build businesses. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you can do what you want with it. <laughs> you can do, what... but that that's that's the idea behind the company. It's ba basically to help humanity and society restore their energy for life. Just a small goal while he's you know small goal, yeah. in. in climbing some rocks he's also like you know just to engage the rest of the world to help them with their emotions and have energy for them to be able to do whatever they want in their life just a small goal so can i ask you a personal question probably the, you can ask it. the permanent smile that has been on your face since the minute i met you and is on your face the constant every time i've been around you was on your face all the time was that, that always on your face even when you were fatigued, I have or on my is that face a result? When I was better at it. No, it wasn't on my face. No. Is it a result of you finding the answer, the key, the healing? I'm curious because I feel like I have a permagrin as well. I was a very depressed person when I was sick, but now it's like hard. I mean, I have my frustrations and all that shit because we haven't healed my spleen yet, obviously. But um, I feel like I'm smiling a lot. But I haven't met many people that smile as much as you do. And I'm just you you're so genuinely happy and it's why i describe you as the willy wonka because um, i feel like you're taking us all to the chocolate of factory and letting us have as much chocolate as we want <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of aspects for it so um well i'll give you some aspects so what one when you've been at rock boss so i actually haven't been at rock bottom once i've i've I've, I've experienced many, many um, rock bottoms and yo-yos and what am I? I'm 47, I got sick at 21, so that's 26, 26 years ago. Um, you know, that, and that's, 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 a, that's a long journey, both in health and in business of like, you know, failures, successes, you know, horrend horrendous, horrendous things happening. And like when you try and build a business, uh, you know, initially when you have, health issues um that can be really that can be super stressful as well and i'd say yeah these you know these days because of because of all of 
some of those incredible lows I've experienced. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm married. I'm, you know, I've got a company. I'm living in a nice house where I want in Utah. Um, honestly, you know, something can go wrong in business. But this house isn't going to disappear. My marriage isn't going to disappear. Do you know what I mean? And like, there's so yeah. there's so much to be grateful for. Um, so that's where you know, I guess on a on an average level, that's why I'm pretty pretty con pretty content because I've experienced absolute lows. And like, if you've been there, anything else is better, right? <laughs> yeah. Anything else is better. Uh, so that's one. That's one. Uh, you know, two, as I say, it's not, it, yeah, it's not like you have, you, you do, it's, no, no, I don't, you know, I don't think, I don't know many people who are happy all the time, you know, <laughs> all the time, that's not, yeah. that's not necessarily, that's not necessarily true, like, I still, you know, I'll still push, push myself sometimes, or you get out of balance, because you're like, you know, right now, we're running, we still have a company called Ness, and we're, doing a startup while we already own another company we have no we don't need to do that honestly we don't need to do that we're just doing it um so you know there's periods you think oh god like you know <laughs> like you're stable and then and then you need to be financially stable and go okay well i'm gonna put my net worth on the line again to do a start right. to do a startup now if it works that's all good right if it doesn't work i i would have I'm back to stress and that stability that I created is gone. Yeah, but that's the nature of the other side of you that keeps burning to help more people faster to allow them to feel that energy inside their body. It's just, it's one of the yeah, and I nicest think the other things thing, about you, Harry, is I feel your field coming toward me before I actually see you. Well, and the other thing I say, I say the pleasurable things in life, at least from my perspective, I think that's maybe an odd thing to say. So like, when I was 20 or 80, you know, as a kid, I was like, oh, you know, when I grow up, I'll, when I'm 30, I'll have a Ferrari. <laughs> so when I was 30, I bought a Ferrari. Um, and then it broke down a lot. And then anyway, I sold it a year and a half later. and It wasn't that pleasant an experience. <laughs> and, you know, you meant to have boats. So I had a boat in Spain that sank in the marina probably when I was 32. Um, and then since then, I'm like, you know, and the really pleasurable things are like your family, all your, you know, your relationships, conversations, food. I mean, I, I like good meals and um, like rock climbing, hiking, being outdoors in nature. And all those other trappings honestly don't mean much to me. Um, and so, yeah, so I don't, so I don't really have any great desires for things. Um, so that's quite freeing as well. And, you know, I don't know, it's a phase you get through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So talk to us a little bit about um, the Human Body Field book so that they know that they can access the story and understand more about it. Because I'm sure that we've raised a lot oh, of questions for a lot of people. I look on Amazon. So, I mean, we've, yeah. we wrote a new book. Um, so the, the Human Body Field wrote 20 years ago. And that that is a great Book. But it's a great place for people to start. I mean, that's it, how I learned about you years ago. It is. Let me just put in Harry Massey books in in, in uh, Amazon. Anyway, we've got a new book. I don't know what it's called. Oh, there we are. It's called Restore Your Energy with Bioenergetics. Um, it is two ninety nine on Kindle, and it only just went up. Um, I I would say read that one because it's just a hundred pages. Okay. It's completely up to date as of like a month ago. It's, so it's okay. the cool. simplest introduction. Um, the Decoding Human Body Field is a great book. It's a 400 page book on all of the science and original journey of it. Um, so it's just deeper. If, if you want to know everything, yeah, buy that. Or if you want to know everything, buy both books actually. But the, the easier place to start is Restore Your Energy with Bioenergetics. Um, and you can get it on Amazon and Kindle. And then let's talk a few minutes about infoceuticals and what an infoceutical is, because you did talk about homeopathy, you talk about hormesis, which these are concepts that our community is familiar with. 
Um, infoceuticals is something I've not brought to our community. Uh, informational medicine, light therapy, we do a lot of that. Um, but I really want them to, because it took me a while to understand infoceuticals. And, and I'd been doing this for quite a while. And I was like, they're what? They're what? What are they? I don't understand. Are there plants in there? Is it a homeopathic? What is it? I don't understand. And then, of course, uh, well, I, it's once it's I understood, it's I was like, yeah. in the name. So it's, in, yep. it's, in, it's an information suitable, like, um, like pharmaceutical, but information suitable. And basically, we recorded, it's what we were saying earlier, really, but it's we've recorded the healthy information um, of how different parts of the body, you know, work, work when they're um, working optimally. And then we've imprinted that information um, into colloidal water um, or structured water. Structured water. Yeah. Right. And so when somebody it's, it's like, like, it's I... like... It's like homeopathy. Um, so, you know, homeopathy works in a negative way, like you're presenting something dilute, uh, that you want the body to respond to. And we're just doing exactly the opposite of that. We're saying, well, why do that really indirect thing and hope that the body responds in the way that you want to to this, like, you know, how do you really know that the body is gonna react how you want to Nux Vomica or like, you know, whatever, whatever the dilute herb in that homeopathic remedy is, um, why not just tell the body what you want to do in the first place? So that that's what that was the insight we had like twenty years ago. Um, to Peter, I was like, "Well, why don't we just provide the positive information to the body exactly how it's operating?" He was like, "Oh, good idea." And then off he went and worked out all these information sets that did that. Um, but yeah, that's that's it's, what. So when I got scanned, which took. And you can scan, I want you to explain the audio, the voice scan too, but it took her maybe five minutes, maybe it felt like to scan my body from a distance. I wasn't even physically with her. Takes and then seconds. takes 10 seconds, but um, it was okay. 10 seconds. Okay. Takes 10 seconds. It's really long. I've taken five minutes to enter your name and address and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what took so long yes yeah, and yeah. then she scanned my body told me the stuff and said okay we're going to send you your infoceuticals if you're ready to go i said yeah i'm ready to go let's go and i think there's i think your client should be doing it eight Wh who your client should be doing it yeah that's that's what i'm saying like they can do this that's what i want them to understand and then but those infoceuticals are not um necessarily specific like they're specific to me because of the reading, but they weren't like created for me. That's what I want people to understand. They're not like, oh. There's 72 in the range. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then so your combination is pulled. Five of them for you. Yeah, I think there was like. You actually explain the scanning. You're right. Um, yeah. So in the biogenic wellness system, it's basically three components. So there's this scanning system. Let's say you can use your voice. It'll, it'll scan your body field across like 440 different items, but basically all of your organs, meridians, a lot of emo emotional components like mind, body, trauma components. Um, it does look at nutrition, environment. Um, then it goes a bit like um, woo, if you like, or um, metaphysical, like we look at people's life life journey and all their archetypes, et cetera. Although you don't need that for healing, you know, healing, healing the physical body. And out of that, it'll recommend five five in five infoceuticals that, you know, you, you basically just drop drop ship and everything happens remotely. And then if you see a practitioner in person, that there's also a my health device. So, you know, while while an infoceutical is absolutely perfect for providing the right information to the body. In your case, you know, you had that physical, uh, you know, you've got the physical disc problem or people might have scar tissue, you know, a really tight, you know, tight part of the body or what, whatever it is, or they're injured in some way. Um, on my health device, I mean, it's, 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 it's an electrical stimulation type device, but we put the information in on the signal and we're not limited to 72 in, in pharmaceuticals, which is honestly like all we can do sort of logistically from a company point of view, but in a device, we can put in, um, you know, we can put 400, the 440 information 
sets in that. So basically, when we use that to, we, we, we can use it to basically create much more specific, much more specific, accurate um, healing responses. And like, you can use the device directly on that particular particular area. So, you know, if you're seeing someone in person, you, you use the use the device and then you take the MSUs as well while you're home. You can actually, well, you can actually get a My Health from your practitioner as well. So you can do that too. So they can either have their practitioner scan them long distancely or have Ness Health scan you long distance, then they get the infoceuticals, or they can go to a practitioner's office and get scanned there and have not only the infoceuticals ordered, but also have a very specific acute with the, it's not a TENS unit, but it, it creates an electrical stimulation, like a TENS unit at a local site specific of the 444 of my, for my body. Or I can go a step farther and go, hey, I want my own Nest Health system at my own house. I want to have it treat me all the time. And I can order my infoceuticals from the company as need be. Correct? Yeah, done. Good. Perfect. Because that's the future that we all see for healthcare is that we have to have bio. I don't even like the term biohacking, yeah, but we, it's the thing that everybody see. comes up I, with. I don't think we, we all do, do we? <laughs> Well, I mean, we meaning our colleagues, our tribe, you, me, Christine, the few others that really see that the future of healthcare is about frequency and vibration and empowering people to heal their own bodies in so many ways that we have access to um, in a positive way and not just removing blockades, but really upregulating the system and frequency and light, as you all heard from this community anyway, knows that that's the future of healthcare because that's what they've been listening to for two years or as long as they've been listening. But I mean, I don't even know. There's so many things, avenues we could go down, but I'm sure a lot of people at this point are like, oh my God, these two are really deep in the rabbit hole. What else do you want to share with them about Ness Health? And then I have a few other questions that I want to ask you, but. You know, we didn't touch on research. Oh yeah, right. The research you're doing with Dr. Patel. Yes, talk about that. <laughs> I mean, there's so much with Harry. It's like nonstop. Uh, so, so University of California, um, we've basically, basically been doing a whole bunch of experiments. Um, but I will just talk through just talk through two or three of them. So one, uh, one, one is a bit controversial because it's a COVID one, um, but hell, who cares? Uh, so, uh, so basically, we took we took lung tissue and um, to, well, I'll explain it. So, so you can grow a culture of like any tissue you want. So in, in this case, you, you grow grow a culture of culture of lung tissue. Um, we then basically fed fed one of the tissues with a medium where we've given our uh, an infoceutical that helps reject COVID. And then we give the other one a medium at like the control where we haven't. And we basically, anyway, we ba and then we infected the lung tissue with COVID in both, in both tissues. And anyway, we saw, anyway, we saw a 30% reduction in, in infection rate um, you know, in the, in, the, in the one where we'd used our, our, our sort of our COVID, our anti-COVID inf information set, you know, which, you know, you can't, you can't, <laughs> I wish I could sell it, but we can't sell it, but it's just research. Um, but right, practitioners right. May, may have a way of helping you somehow, but I can't mention it. And, and that's one. And uh, we also did it actually with HIV. With HIV, we got a fifty percent reduction in infection rate. Wow! And then we've done another set of it, experiments with um, neural stem cells, where we've where we've seen a fifty percent increase in neural stem cell growth over a ten day period. Um, that's so that's one of the more. That's really exciting because we can use that in the that's in the wearable amazing. for regenerating people. So that that'll be in the wearable, and um, we're also doing research into cell membrane integrity. Um, oh, that's huge! Got, I still haven't got results. I I know it's improved. I can't speak to results. Those experiments are still are still going on. Um, we're also, we're also looking at energy, obviously, because our company is all about improving people's energy. 
and then we've got a trial that hasn't yet started with the new wearable so basically before we sell the wearable we'll have a, a, a published trial on the on, on the wearable done by university um but it's it's pretty exciting because traditionally like i've been rejected actually actually we've had universities approach us or not universities individual professors at universities approach us over the years and we go down you know x months um and then they've always got blocked by um their ethics committees or this or that but basically it gets blocked because other people at the university they don't want to risk um big pharma not funding them basically a university doesn't want to risk their reputation of backing or helping uh atheistic or non-pharma type company because it might reduce their big pharma funding and so this is really one of the first times uh, i honestly think it's because of it's because of covid that universe like they just they've become they've become more open and, and i say we've hit a pocket of good luck um with the university of california where, where they've been really really willing to help us they they have they actually have four phds um work you know working on our research um and uh, yeah and actually we've got some other potential backers that i'm you know i've been speaking to so i, I, I can't mention them because the deal isn't yet done um but a, but a very a very large foundation are looking at, they're looking at backing much more research and it it goes well we we may end up with a um we may end up with an r d facility here and here in salt lake with you know with our own scientists looking at it full time but it hasn't come to fruition but anyway that i'm putting was, that in my wish wishes yeah, right yeah. there sir that's going in the cauldron yeah we're going i want that. that for you i mean that's you know i I well, it's what's, ne it's what's needed for this yeah. field. Um, it's actually the university. I mean, I say that the university is great, but in the end, it's um, you know the PhDs are doing their PhDs on other things. So it's a part. This is like a part. It's a part time um, gig for them. But if you, yeah, if we have our own research center and a few scientists working full time on this, the the pro the progress and the the societal impact will be huge because you know for, for what we were saying earlier we you know we were talking about this um in like the communication systems body or this field-based communication system like uh, yes we know we know it's there we know some of the things it does but there's an awful lot like we don't fully understand how how the cell is really transmitting and receiving that information you know we don't um we don't fully understand um all its capabilities and exactly how all these parts work. Uh, the cracking, cracking how the control system, how the cellular communication system really works in the body, you know, is um it's um it'd be a massive it's a massive way forward for science and it has, you know, it will have implications for healthcare way outside of our um I guess our more niche energy medicine space. So it basically starts to make it more um more mainstream and become more more credible and um it's yeah. what's always I've said for years, it's what's needed. You know, people want to know what the empirical based evidence is of something like what we do and with what we do because it's so individualized and you're working in it. It's more than that, field. right? It's um so you know, you can do trials and clinical trials of like, okay, we can show it improves memory, cognition, energy, stem cell growth, reduced infection rates, whatever, whatever. Like we can prove all that. The outcome. Um, it's more fundamental. It's like, well, what what are the actual <laughs> mech how is it actually doing it? You right. know, what are the biological mech uh, me you know mechanisms behind that? When we understand that, we'll be able to invent um, you know, just well, I mean, we're already curing diseases, I guess, but um the, it, it'll be done with more you know instead of I, you know i don't necessarily it, it's so it's so individualized it's horrible to put the percentage but you know maybe we're helping you know 70 percent of people or whatever the number is um but like when, when you know all of that you know you can bring the number up to eight you know to 80 85 or, or whatever it is so it, it's going to have massive massive implications huge implications like proving the model and proving what it does is so magical and you know we had tk on already 
And uh, so those of you, when we talked about T, when we talked about mind body matrix with TK, we talked about emphasis the other day and said he's not selling his cream anymore. So maybe don't say. <laughs> oh, okay. But all good. But all good. All good. All good. But um, this is the guy that we were talking about. That's the point. That you were the the gentleman that we we're talking about. But I think that this. I want people to. I want you to do whatever you want. That's the number one. You can do whatever you want. What I encourage you to do is start to research and learn about this because this really is the future of medicine and find a way to access it in whatever way is comfortable for you. But I think that you are an incredible human on many levels and what you have done, I applaud you on so on such a deep level. I've run a business. I've been doing this for this. I mean, we're a year apart in difference. I got in an accident at 20, I'm 48. So there's a couple years different there, but we've been in this industry for the same time. You've done it in a much more global way, faster. I've done more brick and mortar working with the clients trying to figure it out, but we both have a very heart centered connection about wanting to change the world and I'm honored to know you. I'm honored to be able to interview you today and really give people access to know that there's so much more to help you than you think that you can feel that you can access through information and it can make instantaneous changes that you don't have to wait for time. It doesn't have to take a long time. And the hope that we give out at the beats and at true wellness is more than hope. What Harry is doing is proving hope. Harry and his companies are doing is proving that hope is available because it's right there. The information is right there for perfection going back to zero point. And I feel like we could talk for hours, but I also don't want to overwhelm everybody. And I, I just... I want to know what their questions are. And maybe we have a, a master class or something, if you're willing to do that, something like that. Cause I, you know, Dr. Christine doing the body electric summit, go and listen to that, go watch the living matrix. You know what we're doing? We're doing a new summit, um, a bioenergetic masterclass and summit in November. So I don't know when this comes out, but I'm perfect. 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 Yeah. It'll, because it'll be I, less health website i'm sure it will NES help. yeah because this will come out in the next few weeks so that'll be perfect that'll give them plenty of time but i have one question do you have anything else you want to add about ness about research about energy for life anything else wearables anything you're doing um you know i i need to emphasize november so november we're going to launch that energy for life wearable and uh, and we're doing that in this bioenergetic masterclass and summit um oh the date of that is 11th of 11 11 22 nice cool. good job um, and that that's on the doctor's summits um perfect yeah. um, i would love to help um help else? you in any way um, that i can if, you're, if oh we've also just started a new coaching program so if you're thinking you want to learn this to be a to be a budget health coach um you can you can now do that um so it's pretty good uh i think yeah you come across that on neshelp.com again and i don't know what else yeah that'll do that'll do <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely and you know I, that's one of the things i enjoyed talking to martell about was like the certification of getting practitioners certified to do this kind of work whether you have a license to touch the body we can all work in a bioenergetic field because we're all bioenergetic field beings so nobody can legally tell you you can't work in the bioenergetic space because nobody controls it it's crazy um, I have one last question for you, unless you want to add anything else. Uh, go for it. I wish I could give you the microphone today, um, but this is my goal, that in, 20, in three generations that we've affected 23 billion people, which is what it would take about three generations to make this the new foundation of health, that people truly handling their interference fields and upregulating their body, it's the way it is, right? And that's my goal. So it, in effect 23 billion people over the next three generations with myself and my colleagues i'm obviously not doing it alone but right now there's about 7.6 billion people in the world and if you had a microphone and you could tell them all what's the secret that harry macy has learned throughout his life whether it's health related or not well, what is secret. the one secret you're you're only giving them one secret but it, what is the one secret 
You want them all to really know. I mean, in the in the in the end, so this concept that we've been talking about, this body, the body's control system, that's basically, you know, another way of saying it is is the body it's the body's healing system and you know in short like you said it with your story that you, your now present husband said oh your body you know you did it your body did it now, your body has has a healing has a healing system it does actually it does actually want to get better even though you know your energy may be so low etc cetera, etc cetera, that you know you don't feel that's possible right now um but I guess the one thing I would just tell people is, you know, however low you are in your health, you know, ultimately biology and physics is on your side to get better if you, you know, I guess if you let, if, you know, I say it, you can visit an S practitioner or something like that um, and they, you know, they will guide you, they will guide you back towards that. But, you know, ultimately, all ultimately if you correct that control system or your body's cellular communication system is basically the energy field that we've been talking about and you can do that through infoceuticals and my help um and you help restore your body's batteries so you know you get adequate rest you do gentle you know movement things like walking etc to you know to lift your energy and try you know get a handle on your emotions and stress like if you do those really those two things like restore your body's battery and optimize your body's control system you will get your health back um it it is it is actually that simple um although that took me a long time to fully comprehend and <laughs> bring into my life but it doesn't have to take as long for you of course you had the perfect insight into what the one thing that everybody needs to hear on my 100th episode which is exactly the point of my podcast which is what divine timing and quantum physics is all about, that you can't plan this stuff. It only can happen when you allow it, and then it just looks like you orchestrated it all so perfectly that it had to be by design. Perfect. So, truly, from our hearts to yours, uh, we are signing off at the Beats today. Please review the podcast. Give us your comments. Go to Ness Health, it's one S, nesshealth.com, and research about this. Find your Ness practitioner. We're getting a Ness Health system. We want the wearables as soon as they're available. And uh, we're all going to be healing healthy together. Thank you so much, Harry, for your time. Any parting words? Um, no, just thank you, Kelly. And it's a really enjoyable conversation. As always, have a great day. Perfect. Thank you so much for listening today to this episode of The Beats. And as your host, Kelly Kennedy, truly from my heart to yours, thank you for your time and your attention today. And if this did resonate with you, please do leave some comments. We would love to hear from you. And if this further you think would resonate with somebody that you know, please do go ahead and share that and hit that notification button so you know when The Beats is available to you. We do do some live things every once in a while. And watch out for some of our upcoming events. We have a node release class coming up in the local area here in Pennsylvania. Uh, Ian has a walk coming up. So you can check out some information on our website, the True Wellness Center, about all the details about those upcoming events. Um, and as always, we pray that this information today was not only foundational, but raised some questions for you and helped you be empowered to take actionable, profound steps toward regeneration because your body is the only thing that heals. And that is our message here on The Beats. Thanks again for listening and for sharing. Have a great day. <music>